710, question for you. Have you ever wanted to explore and learn more about your family tree? Well, you're in luck. The Spartanburg Historical Association wants to help you in your quest. Let's get straight to 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli. <laughs> She's live at the History Museum in downtown Spartanburg to show us how. Yep. Good morning, Christine. It's going to take you over to a cemetery. Yeah, dig it oh. in the dirt for sure. You can find some clues there. But this family history, um, a little bit less invasive charity. I know, I got to stop with these. I just go where our anchors lead. But mm -hmm. this is kind of neat. So a lot of people, this is really trendy right now. You send away your DNA and you come back with all of this information. But you say for free tomorrow, you're going to tell people mm -hmm. how you can really kind of dive into a cemetery and find some clues, right? Yes. Uh, tomorrow's topic for the Spartanburg County History Historical Association's Lunch and Learn okay. is a virtual um, lunch and learn, eat your lunch at your computer. It's nice. And um, we're going to be talking about cemetery research, which is one place that you can research for genealogy. And it's a place where you can find a lot of clues to who your ancestors were, particularly those who may predate birth, marriage, and death certificates, those types of things. You wouldn't think, though. So. You wouldn't even, I wouldn't even know what to look for. I mean, you're just in a cemetery. There's numbers, some of them smudged off, but can even be more helpful than a birth certificate. That's impressive. Yeah, well, they predate. So yeah. it's, it's earlier periods. Um, and also, it just gives you a clue. Sometimes you find um, extra children in a family plot or things um, that you just didn't know about because they passed away before you were researching or you maybe knew that part of the family. Some helpful so. tips though, don't just kind of go barging into any cemetery. Right, do some research beforehand, um, make sure you know where you're going, um, Google Maps, is one of your good friends. <laughs> um, but also, uh, if you're going to be going onto private land for a family cemetery, do check with the landowner. Um, you, you want to be respectful. Um, but most church cemeteries are available, municipal cemeteries are available. But do check for hours because sometimes they do close certain times of day or at dusk, those types of things. Very good. Do they need to bring anything with them to this lunch and learn at 1230 tomorrow? Should they have anything ready to go? Um, just take some notes I guess yeah. um, so it will be a little bit of a show and tell of some family cemeteries and stones that I've taken pictures helpful. of some tips and tricks for how to do the research and where to research so very helpful we'll tell people just how to find it okay our website's easy wspa.com there you will find this so this is the first step SpartanburgHistory.org. top right guys you go ahead and click that link to register it's gonna come up just if you want to recognize it there you go. That's what you're looking for. Again, free. That's always a fun thing. Tomorrow at 1230 p.m. We've got a link again at our website. Back to you guys. You find anything interesting with your families? Yeah. No, not really. Going digging? No, okay. I haven't gone digging yet. <laughs> not yet. But I, th I find Beware. it all fascinating, though. I find it fascinating. And, you know, everybody wanting to get into genealogy. I think this, is, this started um, probably five, ten years ago where people just wanted yeah. to know about their past. I think it's, uh, it's great. So... But this awesome. is inspiring for sure, even for me. <laughs> Thanks, Christy. Yeah, good. All right, coming up, BMW drivers won't have to grab their car keys to get on the road anymore. The details when we come back.